couple of lengths to boom oh. and now hello guys race results x and race one belt. race results and replay and the some scrimmage chain come on grand scheme jumping three from home Cara Ray led over it. Loose Moose was the last to touch down. Thor's Dars in rear. So too is Foxwood. Local drama has dropped back into the last quartet on this long run down towards two out. Still led by Cara Ray and Dylan Johnston with Kaleem Lad and Kean Quirk on the leaders' quarters. Bowman Hill and Izzy Bell a third and fourth, just in front of Flanner Bay. Then Grand Scheme, Jad Mahal coming under a ride as they head into the dip. Local dramas behind those. They've covered a circuit. They're on their way towards two from home. Cara Ray, Kaleem Lad upsides as they reach the penultimate flight. Mm -hmm. Another good jump from Cara Ray. Mm -hmm. Bowman Hill is two and a half lengths off them in third. Izzy Bell ridden along in fourth. Flanner Bay's fifth, but still traveling. And that group of five have pulled away from Grand Scheme in sixth, and the others mm. are being left behind as they work their way up the hill on the approach to the final mm. flight. Cara Ray with Kalimo Lad upsides and perhaps now traveling the better. Bowman Hill is going off in pursuit as Kalimo Lad takes up the running, and Cara Ray can do no more. Flanner Bay, Izzy oh, Bell are both going true. past the market leader as Kalimo Lad and Bowman Hill come down to the final flight. They're over it together. Landing three lengths clear from Flanner Bay on the run for home. Kalim Olad on the near side with a narrow lead. Running into the final 50 yards from Bowman Hill. It's Kalim Olad and Bowman Hill who pull clear of Flanner Bay in third. And then Grand Scheme home in, in fourth ahead of the fading Cara Ray. Fence at the top of the hill, Trace. number 10, with a length and a half break on special rate. Mm. They cross it first and second, and a dozen lengths or more behind them, Place de la Concorde over it in third. Mm. Now on to fence number 11, Glen Giver, by about three lengths, special rate in second, slipstreaming the leader, and Place de la Concorde 15 lengths or more behind them. On their way down towards the next, Glen Giva leads special rate by three, and Place de la Concorde more than 12 lengths adrift of them. Next plane fence, Glen Giva and special rate both jump it well, three and a half lengths between them, and the best part of 20 lengths behind them is Place de la Concorde. So they've got just three more fences to cross, starting with the final open ditch, Glen Giva from special rate, who's closing. The gap between them down to a length and a half. Place de la Concorde making little or no impression as the leaders come out of the dip and come to jump three from home. Glen Giva by a couple of lengths from special rate. Both jump the ditch well. Place de la Concorde a long way behind them, but still jumping. Two from home. Glen Giva from special rate. About a length and a half down going over the penultimate fence. Place de la Concorde has negotiated it safely and the front pair are on their way up the hill with Tommy Dowson the first to push away on special rate. Glen Giva leads by a couple on the turn into the home straight with one to jump and Glen Giva travelling much better than special rate who's four lengths off him and hard ridden and Glen Giva under Ben Jones just showing one or two wayward signs in front but he's safely negotiated the last with a four length break on special rate, Place de la Concorde a distance behind, they're inside the final furlong, Ben Jones having to get serious on Glen Giva, special rate reducing the gap all the way to the line, special rate coming through on the outside to head Glen Giva inside the final 50 yards, special rate got up to beat Glen Giva and they finish more than 100 yards clear of Place de la Concorde who was always so the captain Race at three. Let's go. Our Laura B, who's virtually disputing second, two lengths to to Harbif Raj, closing in on the third from home, and then a break in the field to get a reason, who's gone off in pursuit, well educated, and Glinga Flame are both struggling in the rear, on the long run down towards the penultimate flight of hurdles. Molinari by a length to our Laura B and Captain Zebo to Harbif Raj, well in touch. And then three or four lengths to the closing, get a reason. Glinger Flame's been driven for dear life, but he's responding and has relegated well-educated to be the back marker. And once again, the field is closing ranks as they approach two out. 
Mullina Reef and Captain Zebo a length down. Our Laura B, a similar margin away in third. Get a Reason landed fourth, two out with a rallying, well educated next. And then to Harbif Raj beginning to fade out of contention. Glinga Flame, the back marker at the foot of the hill. Only one more hurdle to jump. Mullinari's gone clear again by a couple of lengths to Captain Zebo. Our Laura B, well educated. Get a Reason through on the inside. And then to Harbif Raj. And finally, Glinga Flame. Homeward bound inside the final quarter of a mile with one to jump. Mullinari has got five lengths on the field with Captain Zebo and our Laura B in second and third. And Glinga Flame running on on the inside. Mullinari with a three length lead going over the last again. A very awkward landing. Captain Zebo rallies to regain a chance. And then Glinga Flame running on on the inside. Mullinari with a length and a half advantage into the closing stages. Doing enough in front. Mullinari to the game old Glinga Flame up for second. Captain Zebo ran third in front of our Laura B. Come over the sixth. All right. The leader was wrong going into it, but managed to fiddle his way over it. Kicks after six and leads them left-handed away up the hill with Vidari still running second, going mobile in third on the outside of Check My Pulse. One night in town tracking the leading quartet and War at Seas moved upside Conic King, but they still race in the last pair. Over the fence, number seven, kicks after six by three lengths from Badari as they begin the descent of the back straight. Going mobile is third, with Conic King improving up on the outside, jumping the second on the back straight. War at Sea relegated to be last once again as they run on to fence number nine. Kicks after six is the leader just over a length in front of Bidari and going mobile with Conic King, a very close fourth, and then one night in town in fifth. After those, Check My Pulse has rather lost his position. War at sees the back marker, and now they have a fair gallop before they reach the final open ditch, three from home. Kicks after six, joined and passed by Going Mobile, who's traveled strongly throughout and picks up the running well before three out. Conic King is third. Budari fourth going into the dip and now being slightly outpaced. One night in town follows, going over the final open ditch, which they've all cleared and still only four or five lengths between them as going mobile leads kicks after six by only a neck going over two from home. They come away from the fence together with one night in town and Conic King either side of Budari right behind the front pair. Oh. Check my Pulse is still in touch but was denied a clear run coming up the hill and war at seas round the outside. It's going mobile on the inside of kicks after six. Budari staging a rally has gone off in pursuit of the front pair but he's three lengths off them. The others are getting in each other's way as kicks after six moves on by a couple of lengths into the wings of the last. Met it wrong but landed too clear. The rallying Budari on the outside of going mobile. They're clear of war at sea. It's kicks after six with a length and a half on Budari going mobile, fading back in third. Kicks after six, finding more in the closing stages and will win going away. Kicks after six, beats Budari going mobile. Check my pulse, stayed on after being stopped coming up the hill and finished up some flight number seven. I've raised. Velasco in the cheek pieces up the inside, led by a couple. From Hasty Parisian Hoganville, Nick Guard, caught dreaming being pulled up after jumping that flight of hurdles. Hmm? The leaders have taken the eighth, and Nick Guard has crashed out there. Nick Guard a faller at the eighth flight, down to five as they prepare to turn left handed. Jamie Ham Hamilton unscathed as Velasco leads the field towards the top of the hill. Fallen horse also seemingly none the worse. So about to enter the back straight for the final time with four to jump. Hoganville, Hasty Parisian, they dispute second. Listen to the lady is well in touch. Motion in Limini remains the back marker and is now getting a shake of the reins after jumping four out. Has raced in last for much of the journey. Running towards three out, Velasco by a couple of lengths over Hoganville. Hasty Parisian, a half length back in third. Then listen to the lady in fourth, but making a mistake. Motion in Limini remains last of the five survivors as they gallop on down the back straight between three and two out. 
Velasco leads Hoganville by a length and a half. Hasty Parisians a further half length away. Listen to the ladies being bumped along vigorously oh. by Dylan Johnston in fourth. Motion in Limony still well in touch with four lengths covering them as they head into the dip and approach two from home. It remains Velasco by a length. Hoganville now shaken up on the outside of Hasty Parisian. Motion in Limony oh. has relegated. Oh. Listen to the lady oh. to be the back marker. Front three covered by less than a length. Going over two out. Velasco from Hoganville. Hasty Parisian coming off the bridle in third. Five lengths to Motion in Limony in fourth. Listen to the lady has cracked. Velasco's got all of his rivals off the bridle as they work their way up the hill towards the home straight where they've got one to jump. Velasco and Nathan Moscrop pursued off the home turn by Hoganville. Hasty Parisian trying to rally on the outside. They've gone clear of motion in Limony as Velasco closes in on the 12th and final flight with a three-length advantage. Hoganville and Hasty Parisian racing each other second and third. Velasco landed three clear out over the last with Hoganville and Hasty Parisian in hot pursuit, but they're making little or no impression on Velasco, who's made every yard the running and runs out a ready winner. Velasco beat Hasty Parisian, Hoganville home in third. They finish a distance clear of an easy... As they arrive at fence number right. 14, Happy Levy, a length and a half, so be it. Mm -hmm. And then Dolly Dancer making an effort on the inside of mm -hmm. Absolutely Dylan mm -hmm. to go up into a share of third. Humps mm -hmm. and Bumps is next as they clear the next on the back straight. Then Okawi and Krogh Patrick is the mm -hmm. back marker. Mm -hmm. And now eight lengths mm -hmm. would cover the field mm -hmm. as Appy mm -hmm. Levy opens mm -hmm. up a three length mm -hmm. advantage heading mm -hmm. towards the mm -hmm. fourth from home. Mm -hmm. So be it, continues to chase the leader. Mm -hmm. The gap down to two, jumping four out. Over in third was Dolly Dancer, then absolutely Dylan, Humps and Bumps, Krogh, Patrick, and Oka Wee is the first to come significantly off mm -hmm. the bridle, mm -hmm. but still only four lengths would cover them as they work their way towards the end of the back straight, approaching the dip before the final open ditch. Happy Levy bidding to make all. Humps and Bumps has gone up into second in front of Dolly Dancer, and so be it, is a very close fourth. Krogh Patrick making headway, going over three out, goes past the fading, absolutely Dylan Hokawi is struggling in the rear. Heading to two out, Appy Levy from Humps and Bumps, jumping two out a length behind. Then the running on Krogh Patrick on the outside of So Be It, Dolly Dancer, the latest to lose ground on the leading quartet, coming up the hill with just the one to jump and two and a half furlongs still to gallop. Appy Levy, whose rider looks confident, is the leader off the home turn from Humps and Bumps, So Be It, and Krogh Patrick all hard at work. Happy Levy opens up a three length lead once again, heading down towards the 19th and final fence. Happy Levy, steady to jump the last, but took it well. So be it the only conceivable danger. Krogh Patrick back in third, then humps and bumps. It's Happy Levy with a four length advantage, heading inside the final hundred yards from the plugging on. So be it. Krogh mm -hmm. Patrick back in third, but Happy Levy and Danny McMenamin have made all for the James Hewitt team to beat So be it into second. Krogh Patrick ran third, humps and bumps and dolly dancer, the other finishers, the rem I heard you paint so right. and Minella Youngy jumping the first down the back straight, which they're all over. Jessica Rabbit and Lightning Company remain in the last pair with Nastasia and Patine in the last quartet. Working their way down the hill towards three from home. Belvedere Blast on the outside of About Time You Told Me. A mistake from Sunshine Girl on the heels of the front pair. Cuda Gold is right in behind them with a driven along Dear Monsieur Canapé. Bushmill Boy remains prominent. I Heard You Paint Houses is on the heels of the leading group. Minnelli Youngie within three lengths of the leaders. Then Nastasia Patine and Lightning Company. And though still last, Jessica Rabbit is still very much in touch. Heading into the dip, 
Approaching two outs, yeah. Belvedere Blast from About Time You Told Me, Cuda Gold, and Bushmill Boy and Sunshine Girl moving through to hold every chance, jumping two out. Nastasia and Minella Youngie are both on the move. Unlike I Heard You Paint Houses, who's beating a retreat, now overtaken by Patine. Diamantio Canapé and Lightning yeah. Company are tailing off as Belvedere Blast leads them up the hill with one to jump. Sunshine Girl on the inside of Bushmill Boy and Coup de Gold, a second, third, and fourth. Nastasia running on in fifth. After those, Jessica Rabbit making headway from well off the pace. Minella Young is behind those, and they've gone clear of Patine. Off the home turn, Belvedere Blast from Bushmill Boy. Nastasia, Sunshine Girl can't go on, but Jessica Rabbit can. Over the final flight, Belvedere Blast by just over a length to Bushmill Boy. Nastasia, Minella Young, and Jessica Rabbit into the final 75 yards, Belvedere Blast with the advantage and drawing clear on the running to win the finale. Belvedere Blast to Minella Youngie, Nastasia Bushmill Boy, Jessica Rabbit, Cuda Gold.